Hey, this is Robin Jones Music with an online music lesson on how to play a cool song called The Foggy Dew on the Irish Bazooki. If you enjoy this lesson, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, this is what the arrangement we're going to be trying to learn today sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. In part one of this lesson, we're going to be trying to learn the first half of that. And in part two, we're going to learn the second half. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. The first phrase that we're going to try and learn sounds like this. First, we're going to have a look at the basic notes. So we're on the A string. We're going to go open A, third fret A, and then fifth fret A. Okay, then we're going to come back down 3rd fret A to open A. So those are the notes we need. Three notes. Just a quick point about the fingering there. You might have noticed I'm doing this with my 1st finger and 3rd finger. There's kind of a reason for that which will become clear later. There's going to be a little hammer on that we want to get in there and it's just a bit more convenient than getting it with 2nd and little, which would be more conventional. Um, so just in case you were wondering there. Okay, so let's think about the rhythm of these phrases now. There's a different rhythm to each phrase. So the first one is like this. Okay, so you've essentially got like one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. If you think about the picking of that, it's going to be down, 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 up, down. Okay, now the second bit is slightly different rhythm. It sounds like this. So that works out slightly differently there. You've got your little one, two, and three, and four. Picking wise, that's going to be down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so you put those two together, you should have this. Okay, next thing we want to work on here, if you're feeling good with that, is a little bit of a kind of sound effect. Um, this is a hammer on from third fret A to fifth fret A. It'll sound like this. Okay, so you get that nice kind of sound of transition between those two notes. In the context, it's going to sound like this. So you see it's happen happening twice there. If you're not comfortable with hammer ons, you know, you can practice that movement on its own. Make sure that your third finger is coming down strongly enough because if it doesn't you get that the sound doesn't travel so you really got to hammer it down and as i say you're going to try and get two of them so there and there one more time feeling good with that now we're going to work on including like a droning d string behind these phrases it would sound like this okay so two of these droning d's the first one is going to come behind the hammer on so it's a little bit tricky you like pick pick and then there you want to pick d and a simultaneously and execute this hammer on as well it can be tough so pick pick G and again so same move twice um, the open D behind that hammer on you know that's a good opportunity to focus on your pick accuracy you know isolating sort of you're on one string A A then two strings then A then two strings then A so yeah quite a 
delicate little transition between single string and double string there. Okay, if you're feeling good on that, let's move on to the next chunk, um, a bit that sounds like this. This is a bit of a weird bit, but I might just play it in context. You're... Okay, so let's have a look at the basic notes of that first. We're going to get a little finger to 5th fret D string. We're going to pick that once. Then we're going to pick to open A, back to 5th fret D, and back to open A again. So you end up with this. Okay, so we pick 5th, 5th, A, 5th, A. Then next note is going to be 5th fret G string. Okay, a bit of a weird phrase. So you're like... Now let's think about the rhythm of those notes, right? So you might have noticed there's a bit of a sort of offbeat thing happening here. Let's count it from the start. You got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and. Okay, so you notice there you're missing a beat, right? You're going one, two, and three, and. So in order to get that right emphasis in the picking, you need to pick it down, up, down, up, down. That can be a bit weird. Try and move your hand with that missing beat. So you're like one, two, and three, and. One, move, and three, and. Okay, if you're feeling good with that so far, and remember we've got this so far. Okay, if you're feeling good on that, next step is just to add a little bit of decoration. Rather than just go to fifth fret, of D for this latest phrase, we're going to try and make a chord out of that and get fifth fret G to accompany it. So that's going to sound like this. So not much changes really, but you're just turning that first note into a two string double stop. So that'll sound like this. Okay, moving on to the next chunk, which sounds like this. basic notes of that. So we're on the D string, we're going to go open D, 2nd fret D, 3rd fret D, okay so, okay then open A, and back to 5th fifth, fifth fret D now, okay let's play up to there, you've got, okay then we're going to go down to 3rd fret D, and then finally open D. Putting that together, we've got. Okay, if you're feeling good on that, last couple of notes are these fifth fret G and then slide to seven. Okay, so the rhythm and picking of this uh, latest phrase isn't too bad. It's pretty much all down picking, right? So it's all on the beat. So like, down, down. The only tricky thing here with the rhythm is when we get to this 7th fret G string. Now this can become basically a chord, right? So if we strum that, that's a D chord. Now what we're going to try and do is fill this gap with a bit of rhythm now. So... So let's think about this chord. We are going to strum it on a down first, then we're going to follow that with an up and then we're going to mute after that up. So we go down, up, mute the strings there. Now, I'm muting with my right hand there, just laying it lightly on the strings to kill them. Some people would might mute with their left, you know, which is also possible, but I prefer the right. So we've got down, up, mute. Then we're going to do another down. So we go down, up, down. Again, down. After these three strums, we're then going to transition to some single string picking, and we're going to try and get this. Okay, so that's top D, A, back to top D. You want to pick them starting on an up, right? So it's up, down, up. So you're like, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
feed you back into a repeat so you're like okay the final thing we're just going to look at including into this latest phrase are some two string chords that sound like this okay so these are quite cool so the first one comes over third fret d right usually we go single string there but now we're going to try and alter the finger a bit fingering a bit and hold a, a two string chord there so okay that now is third fret g and third fret d together um two strings being picked there okay now next chord is going to come over fifth fret d so usually we go to single string don't we there on the fifth fret now we're going to turn it into a chord we're going to go okay so this chord is actually the same kind of shape as that you might use different fingers here just to sort of keep your finger your position but it's fifth fret g and fifth fret d together two strings so. okay carrying on from there pick that as normal now when you get to open d rather than just open d on its own we're going to try and add g open g to it so so that's quite it's an easy one that's just two open strings so you got okay and then end as normal okay so if you followed along so far you've got the whole verse part of the song now we're going to try and put that all together so you would conventionally play that whole thing around twice i'm going to do that now maybe try and play along with me Count is in, we're gonna come in on a three, right? So we're like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna play it twice. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So thank you very much for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have. In part two of the lesson, we're going to be learning the B part or the chorus part of the song, which sounds like this. So I'm going to put a link to part two in the description. You can download that from my website. Also, if you're enjoying these lessons, um, you can become a member on my website and you can access all my lessons uh, for a monthly subscription. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Uh, check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this tune. I'll see you next time.